streaming. We are. Of Scoop is Steve and Locke, and with me is Mac D. West. And I think that Scuba Steve is out for some vengeance here. Yeah, we have he a game was... three, so we don't know who the winner is of this. He did report the scores, but we're not going to say. I don't even know, so I'm actually going to be generally surprised. Yeah, we're just going to keep the mystery going because we didn't cast it because it was late when they played their games last night, so both of them were pretty tired, especially Scuba being in a three-hour time difference from Mr. Locke. You have an East and West Coast match. Let's do this. Well, I'm Tupac all the way, so uh, who's West Coast? That's um, Locke. That's Locke. West Coast? Uh, let me think here. Hmm. So in the upper right, we have the one, the only... The Terran that might even go proxy marauders. No, I'm just kidding against the Zerg. Scuba Steve. And, and in the bottom left, we have as the pink Zerg representing Legion and Tupac. Locke. Oof. Uh, if he's an East Coast guy, I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, you know, Scuba Steve's my bro, but I'm going to break his balls even though as most people know I'm too dirty for sports. But I gotta represent my Buffalo Bills because, uh, you know, bro, having some time in Western hey, New York. I think got a chance this year, bro. Uh, yeah, I gotta watch that. It's pretty good news. But I, I, I can see Scuba Steve is a Patriots guy. I'm just gonna break his balls Ooh. here. You know, everybody's love to hate team. I want to see what Scuba says on this. Ooh. If he is a Brady lover, well, I love his. I love Brady's wife, but that's about as far as that love goes. <laughs> Brady's wife. <laughs> uh, so we have a hatch down at normal timing, and let's see if it's similar. Oh, no spawning pool, pool immediately. Oh. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, 115 spawning pool with a hatch first. It's about typical. Good, good clean ma macro builds thus far. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is a drone, sc drone scout or a proxy hatch. He does have three on gas right now, so I expect to get some uh, speedlings real quick. Maybe he's gonna steal that gas again. That kind of oop, and Scuba's not gonna allow it this time. Well, wow. and he and he throws down the start of a refinery. So that's actually a smart move. Doesn't need it yet, but he's not gonna let him steal that gas. Yep. Sorry, I had an alt tab here. Hopefully, this doesn't ruin our stream. And it looks like that Reaper will take out that drone scout. Oh, I didn't even get that. Sorry, folks. I had a little interruption. Didn't get to see that. SCV looking to deny the third, but if it's like the last game. And we have about fourlings that popped. We have speed re being researched. And in scuba side, a partridge in a pear tree. No, no, no. Got a 1 1 build right now. Let's see if that starport comes out. Yeah. If it's anything like usual is it going to be that or is it going to be an additional factory right. is scuba going to go yeah, triple might be factory a deck nope there's that there's that star port so one, 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 one. <clears throat> some significant ling harass but he lifts off it's a damn good thing that zerglings can't shoot up hmm. oh we have some bane lings morphin he's oh, going for a bane action. bust oh god and it has some lanes reinforcing in the back end. And Scuba not thinking, he's worried about those two lanes. Oh, oh, so and here comes the Bane lanes. Will they get that wall? Oof. They're not even going for the wall. Oh no, he's been oofed. They're, they're going for the Heliots. Oh no, he left it wide open. Oh. They will not make it to the SCVs though. And remember, you need two Bane lanes to destroy uh, an SCV or a worker. So if you can. Take out one, you will survive. 
And Scuba Steve trying to pull the... Oh my god, those SCVs are damaged. He could use the mule to repair worst case, but with this Can mineral... Cancel, cancel those bane links. Can Scuba do it? Oh, one bane link could do devastating damage if he targets the red ones. He is. Oh. Whoa, Scuba actually survived, but there's another bane. He's got to shut that down. Oh, Ew. he did take a couple of those SCVs he was aiming for earlier. Scuba with some good SCV micro against that. And look at killing. Can he kill the other one? Oh, and, and we have a Roach Warren and a, and a wall going up for lock. Well, do you see that also he was able to cancel those banelings, saving just a little bit of resources in each time. Oh, we have a Banshee in production. See if he, uh, I don't see Cloak being researched, so might just get that air advantage on an early Zerg. Oh, he does have Cloak being researched. Look oh, at that. Just start researching it. Look at that. That's going to definitely cause some good harass. And we don't see any spine crawlers or spore crawlers yet from. Uh, well, he does have the wall, so he'll be able to keep this at bay for a hot second. And it does deter, but he's going to lose that third. It's going to cancel. Uh, save your minerals block. Get that cancel. Oh, you know what? Scuba might get it. It doesn't look like he's paying attention. Oh, he is watching it. He has a selection. And he sends one roach. Two roaches. <laughs> Three yeah, roaches. Three roaches. All right, that could push this back. Scuba needs uh, some like all those hellions in the front, Scuba the red. Is... Don't throw uh, them away. He gets pitched and he saves it. And the oh, banshee right, in. The banshee shows up. Cloak is still being researched. It's almost oh, completed. he cancels he his third. He cancel. Wow, good job, Scuba. Good micro. Did not lose a single hellion. I did not. Yeah. And there's Mac D. West there's getting Mac a phone call. phone call. Yeah, and I do have to take this. I will be off. Sorry about that, everybody. Just mute. Yeah. All right, so we have the aliens gathered up on the low ground. Mac, uh, Mr. Locke has... Taking his third base. A little more saturated than the last game. Not on full saturation. Scuba Steve behind on the economy compared to before all because of all that harass he had from the bank bus, but an armory going down. And uh, let's see what kind of little Hellion harass goes on here. Liberator, more Hellions. An armory, an engineering bay. Oof. <clears throat> How big? I saw the big. <clears throat> All right, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just. I oversaturation know. on the main by yeah. Scooter Steve. What would you say that size of the With uh, the igniters being researched. And a cyclone coming out. Still no sign of the cloak being used yet. All right, all right, MACD's back yeah. on the cast network. So we had a hydra oh. down in your absence, a little harassment. Scuba oh, Steve getting coming in. his uh, liberator. He's got upgrades going for his, he's, this time he's being a little wiser on his choice of his Mac attack uh, with the weapons level one. Oh, and Locke saw that coming and he was able to push that back. But I see Hydras and Roaches getting in a push as Hellions are coming through with that band. But look at Viking, Locke being supply box, Scuba sniping some overlords that I missed in action. Wow, this is a lot of Hellions about to come on in. And, and a Roach Hydra push on the other side, but I think, I think Locke's going to come back home. Is he going to turn around? I think he's going to turn around. He's gonna need to, and he does turn around to save his other bases, but this fourth is done. That spore crawler killing one unit, I believe it killed uh, Viking, or no, is it his Liberator? 
killed his lib. Oof. Locked it being a little indecisive. No, he decides to push back to keep pushing. Scuba Steve's base. Look at that uh, supply depot yeah, wall. Yeah. Oof. There's no tanks, nothing nothing really defending. So if he gets through this wall, he can cause some And actually, it's not fully walled. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah it wasn't. It so. Oh, there's the tank goes up. It sieges up. Scuba Steve. And then look at all those Hellions. Scuba Hellions Steve about to be temporarily at an upgrade advantage, just slightly, and though for like one second, if he can get that before, he might. Oh, look at. Yep. And it looks like Scuba is able to push that back very well. Just before the one finished for the Zerg. Mr. He, although Scuba lost a lot of Hellions, really he only lost three supplies. That was actually a good trade for Scuba. Yeah, and look at he's kept him on his toes for his supplies. He took out some overlords and uh, kept him for production of overlords a bit. So Locke can't... And what's interesting, we do have Burrow being upgraded. <sighs> I don't see Tunneling Claws being upgraded, so let's see what uh, he has in mind for that Burrow. Yeah. Maybe it's just the fast seal of roaches. But, he, ooh, we're about to see an engagement down here. Maybe not. Looks like they pass right by each other. They're just walking. Even though he has a changeling, he spot that whole army. He just walked right by. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go for a push with these roaches if they can lock sand. They're both just tired as hell at this point, too. It was like 2 a.m. for scuba. I mean, lock might have been at a little sleep advantage. And the sensor tower is definitely seen. Somewhat of a push on his fourth. He's like, oh shit, but you know what? He handles his fourth, and the Hellion push will look like it will take the third. Oh, we got some roaches coming in. We saw the tank and it ran. And it looks like Ravagers. Scuba. Scuba is able to keep a uh, lock here on two base. But on those Ravagers, let's see this corrosive bile action. What happens? Oh what my god. He's not my god. Oh, okay, no. he's gonna get a siege tank. But look at those ravagers. Yeah. We dwindled down to two ravagers from round eight. But and then we have roaches doing some damage up up top. With some hydras. Base, which will make him turn around and try to defend. And he can't take that because siege tanks on the high ground. Oh. And you see that widow mine? Yep. Ooh. Little mines are deadly preserved. Scuba pulling oh, the boys. Oh, he gets a barrow. And wow. He looks like he's gonna try to hide that, hide those roaches. Scuba staving some. Oh my god! I'm sorry. What's happening? I accidentally did What's a rewind. Happening? I rewind to the beginning. No. <laughs> I think we're at 12 minutes. Okay. 12 minutes. Unfortunately. I accidentally hit uh, the wrong hockey. I was going to show the workers and units loss count. So in about 12 minutes. Sometimes you get so excited, you just start spamming buttons. Dude, I get yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and my buddy's calling me, but I can't answer that right now. Thanks. We're going to finish this. Apologies, folks. That was a rip for the... Let's catch up and watch this and fast forward. Bane bust. Just a quick recap. Yeah, that was intentional. Yeah. Scuba tries to we like down. to do. On the holiday cap, we like to recap. Yeah, we like to recap. Right as, right as we're getting to the climax of the match, you stop everything. Oh yeah, you know, it's just like... <laughs> exactly. Oh, the hell he Yep, oh, yeah. with the banshee and... Back and, yeah. and he cloaked and... Oof. Oh, you know what? You're winding this for me when I take that phone call. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's all. So, yeah, we can slow it down for a second at points, because I think you were right about... Here? Here. Yeah, yeah right that's right possible. when you got back. So you got to see in quick speed what happened a little bit. So let's get you up to the 12 minute mark. Liberator did some work, Liberator died to the spore. And the road tiger push, which got shut down. We're approaching our mark. And here we go. I say go ahead and press play. And I'd say right around here, I'm gonna start slowing down. So we are at our standard play. This is where Scuba is shut down. The third base of Mr. Locke. Yeah. But Locke does some counterattack and is able to cut down the third base of Scuba. Yep, let's look at that. Because we looked at the other side of it. But as we know, if you're Karen or Protoss and you're the same 
base count as a Zerg, you're winning. Yep. And the Widow Mine went down again. We're just about to catch up to where we were, folks. And this is where I'm going to properly hit units killed, workers killed. And those Sc Widow Mines. Scuba at 57, 58 kills versus 48. Lock killing more workers, but Scuba saving this group. And Scuba cleans it up. We are officially right where we're at. So on the left, we have four Cyclones going in, taking out Novi. Lock ahead on his, his supply max. Oh my gosh, I have another call. This must be important. No, I will take over. Uh, it's a double call. So you can take over. I'll try to move around while we do this, but I can't hear you. That four. All right, we look like we have a small engagement here. We have some Banshee Harass. And we're sending some reinforcements as a couple roaches are still in the mineral line for on Scuba's base, and they're going to try to take out as many SCVs before the tanks destroy them. <clears throat> we do have a uh, army composition for lock of about 16 roaches, a couple Ravagers, and a Hydra. And they look like they are moving up. While Scuba Steve does have a good defensive uh, outfit of some Cyclones and some tanks. Now we do have the third up for Scuba while Locke is still having his hatch being morphed for his third. And we have an engagement. Some Banshees get taken out. Some tanks are being sieged. We have five. Ooh, this is not going to go well for Locke. Scuba is able to push back, although Locke is just reassessing his engagement. He's going for the third, and it looks like he's going to do some significant damage uh, before Scuba is able to get in there. Ooh, and he's able to take out a tank. He's able to take out some Hellions, but those tanks will ultimately... Oh! Some corrosive vials are going down on these tanks, and it looks like he's able to take out the majority of the forces for Scuba Steve, but Scuba Steve still have that defensive front behind his wall with some siege tanks. And right now, we do have a one, one vehicle upgrade for Scuba Steve against 2-2 on the Hydra. Lurker is popping right now as more links come out. It looks like this will be a push. And it looks like this third command center will go down. It did spot those lurkers. Let's see if he's able to do some work with these lurkers. <clears throat> they have not burrowed yet. Waiting for that right engagement. As some reinforcements go up. We have a Banshee. Cloak harassing the third from being uh, any, any productive for lock. As the army keeps going down, we have a push. The lurkers are going in. Still on lair tech, so we will not see any upgrades from the lurkers other than attack upgrades. It looks like they will slowly beat up this wall, which will allow the rest of the army to swoop in, which looks like what we're doing. And that tank is able to pick off one of the lurkers. And both lurkers are down, but he did demolish that wall. And you can see that third is still continuously being harassed by that cloaked banshee. Sometimes a single cloaked banshee is a great investment. As you can see, very minimal micro there on that cloaked banshee and it's doing some work. But it looks like some queens finally are able to push it off with that spore crawler. Looks like Scuba has decided to build a third elsewhere at his fourth location. And he has, Locke has six lurker cocoons down, going against multiple tanks. This engagement's not gonna go well unless he gets those lurkers down ASAP. And he pushes right up on the tank. And will they get some damage done before they're annihilated? And they do not. What an engagement, and we have GG from Locke. Now, Scuba Steve 
resilient as always. And those tanks just demolished that final army push from Zerg with a proper engagement that could have went a little differently for Locke. But here we have Scuba Steve taking it on. Now we are 1-1 in the series. 